The annual San Joaquin Asparagus Festival kicks off today, but with it comes concern about local farmers being pushed to the side for cheaper veggies from beyond the border. Let's get more now. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live from the fairgrounds with the ever-changing asparagus landscape. Carlos? Yeah, from deep fried to ice cream, asparagus will be everywhere you look here at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds this weekend. But there is concern tonight. The crop that's been growing in this area for about 70 years may soon be fading. This year at the San Joaquin Asparagus Festival, visitors will be treated to 14 different dishes from asparagus strudel and asparagus ice cream to asparagus burritos, asparagus stir fried, and yes, deep fried asparagus. It is the crown jewel of the valley. It is a beautiful vegetable that is not grown all year long, and we don't get it locally for a very long period of time, and there aren't that many local farmers left. Asparagus in the Delta is harvested between March and May. About 20 years ago, local growers say the valley had as much as 20,000 acres of asparagus. Those numbers have dropped dramatically to just a few hundred acres. Well, the farmers were kind of forced out by product from down south that the supermarkets are buying because it is less expensive. So unfortunately, it's been consumer driven. The farmers have changed their crops out over the years, and so the acreage has gone down. But what hasn't gone down is the amount of people who visit the Asparagus Festival every year. This is local vendor Dale Seiler's eighth year. She says the event only gets bigger and better. Yes, way bigger, way better. The, the atmosphere here is very nice, friendly, it's family fun. So that, that's why I do it. Most of the proceeds from the festival goes back into the community. Over the last three years, it's raised a half a million dollars for area nonprofit organizations. We have a lot of free areas. You know, the main stages are free. I mean, there's so much to do here. When you buy the ticket, you come in here. There's so much to do. If they elect to go on the rides, then that's another deal. But there's a lot to do. Now, organizers are expecting anywhere between 80,000 and 90,000 people by this weekend. In the meantime, there is a push to get more local, more grocery stores to buy produce from local farmers. All right, Carlos, thanks so much for that live report.